Ask the Experts, sponsored by St. Elizabeth Healthcare. All right, it's popular, but a warning today before you jump on that high fat eating plan to drop pounds. Liz Bonus joins us now with some expert advice about why it might not be good for everybody. Liz. Hey Paula, good evening once again. It is all the rage, the high fat diet or what's commonly called the keto eating plan. It induces ketosis, which forces the body to burn fat for fuel. Cardiologists at St. Elizabeth Heart and Vascular Institute say it may not be the best thing, however, for your blood pressure. Every week, Jennifer Seifel stops in at this blood pressure kiosk to check her blood pressure. Well, I have added a little appointment to my calendar every Friday morning. I check it. She's taking medication. She hopes with the right lifestyle changes, she soon won't need any more. I've uh, recently changed my uh, diet, trying to eat healthier and exercising more. Her diet, a wide variety of plant-based foods recommended by the Dietary Approaches to Stop Hypertension, or the DASH diet. But for many, turning to the very high-fat diet, often referred to as the keto plan, Dr. D.P. Shires says when it comes to blood pressure, does he recommend it? Absolutely not. The high-fat diets, theoretically what you're inducing is you're inducing starvation and losing weight. The problem, he says, is that new research in the American Journal of Physiology, Heart and Circulatory Physiology shows when it comes to blood pressure, a diet 75% fat, 20% protein, and 5% carbs, which is what a high-fat eating plan recommends, well, it may switch your body to starvation to burn fat for fuel. When you induce starvation, various hormones are revved up in your body, and those hormones actually increase your blood pressure. They don't reduce your blood pressure. He says when it comes to any diet that promotes rapid weight loss. Other than trying to go down to a zero size dress, there's probably nothing that's beneficial in sudden weight loss. His advice instead? If you lose weight gradually over the 12 months, your blood pressure would never go up. And you also tend to keep that weight off when you lose weight gradually. And of course, the gradual weight loss can help manage blood pressure. If you'd like more information about those new guidelines for blood pressure, go to local12.com, click on Ask the St. Elizabeth Expert. Thank you, Liz. And every drop of just a few points in blood pressure lowers both your stroke and heart attack risk.